everyone welcome back to my channel um, I thought I would start this new series um, about living more mindfully more intentionally more minimalistically because if you had seen my last video you'll know that I'm not living full-time in London anymore I'm in a sort of temporary long-term temporary situation where I'm living um, in a very small area with very limited supplies um, and storage of to keep my things so um, I'm living more intentionally more minimalistically and I'd like to share with you um, the things that I have with me the things that I'm living with um, and so I'd like to share each topic in uh, an individual video so I'll be sharing um, my clothes my bathroom products my cleaning supplies food anything like that um, in an individual video if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see um, definitely comment it down below and I'll be sure to make a video of that. Today I'd like to start with um, accessories and jewellery and that kind of thing. So I have my box of jewellery here which I'll be delving into in this video and sharing with you what I'm currently um, carrying with me. Also there is a giveaway at the end of this video so be sure to stick around for that at the very end. So let's just jump right in. I have this jewellery box that was gifted to me as a vintage item. Um, I was given it many years ago, I think 17th or 18th birthday, um, from my brother. Um, it could have even been before that, it could have been 16th birthday. I've had it for a very long time anyway. Um, and it is this vintage jewellery box that is absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's this dark green colour with um, creamy white polka dots on it and a brass um, hinge, I suppose. Um, an opening and inside it looks like this and then I keep um, I keep my pieces of jewelry separate and untangled by keeping them in these little baggies on the very top here I keep my watch because I wear that every day and then underneath I have these little baggies so I'll have one for my rings one for my earrings and one for my necklaces and then that's everything that's in here so then I'll go through these little bags with you so first my watch it's this beautiful watch that you will have seen for sure if you follow me on Instagram because I've uh, posted about it and I've been sharing it on my story because I'm just obsessed with it. I think it's just stunning. Um, it is made from tiger wood, so it has this gorgeous texture on it. I feel like it's very special and unique. It's so comfortable to wear. It doesn't make me sweat like when I wear um, a plastic or if you've ever had a leather watch. It's fairly sustainable and eco-friendly as well, which is why I love it. And I know it will last me a lifetime because it's fantastic quality. I also just love the aesthetics of it, I think it's really beautiful, I love to wear it as an accessory as well as a watch, um, and I've forgotten how much I love wearing a watch because before this one I hadn't worn one in a few years because my one previously had a leather strap um, and as a vegan I don't wear leather and so um, I had just stopped wearing watches altogether but since wearing one again it's come in so handy, it is so much easier and quicker than looking for my phone to see what time it is or looking around to see if there's a clock I can just check my wrist all the time and I mean, it sounds silly it sounds obvious but it really has made quite a difference in my day-to-day -day life so I absolutely love wearing it and I wear this every single day and then I have my little bag of rings here and in here you can see it is mainly silver I've always been a silver wearer I love silver um, I have recently bought myself a gold ring because I do love the look of mixed metals but I'm always just drawn to silver so much I prefer silver but I did want to mix up my metals a little bit so I have here this golden ring I'm not exactly sure what this um, symbol is on the front I don't know if it means anything or not but I just was really drawn to it I thought it was really beautiful and um, I love the thin sleek band with this very simple but pretty symbol on it Next I have this ring that my mom recently bought for me, um, she said she got it from a local market where she's recently moved to, it's the silver ring with a blue moonstone in it. I also have this ring which is one of my all time favourites, it is a simple silver band and it has a blue stone, I always forget the name of this stone, um, but I got it when I went on a trip to St Ives a few years back and I just loved the blue ocean there, it was just very clean and clear and I hadn't seen an ocean that looks like that in the UK before because if you don't know in the UK, um, well particularly London and the Thames, the water is quite murky and dirty and the beaches aren't renowned to be the best, um, but St Ives really impressed me and it had beautiful clear, clean, clear, crisp blue oceans and I wanted something to remember it by and so I got this ring 
um, that just reminds me of that holiday and the ocean. Then I have this ring, which is my chunkiest ring. It is a feather that wraps all the way around your finger. I'll put it on now. It just looks like it coils around the finger. I love it because it's adjustable. You can squeeze it um, to make it bigger or smaller to fit. And I just, I love the natural feel of it. I also quite like chunky rings, but I find that a lot of the chunky stone rings kind of are a bit cumbersome and bulky and they get in the way and they catch on things. So I love that this was a big statement piece while still being quite sleek. The next ring is quite a large ring as well. This was also from St. Ives when I went there a few years back and it is a silver ring with, I'm not quite sure what the stone in this again is. I'm so bad at remembering names, um, but I just, it just stood out to me and I thought it was really beautiful. and. I was in this shop for probably over an hour pondering whether I should get it or not and I just couldn't leave without it and so it was just, it sung to me and I love it still to this day and I wear it all the time and I am so happy that <laughs> I left um, with this ring. It's also just another beautiful statement ring that I can offset all of the other very simplistic um, just band rings that I have. Speaking of which, everything that's left here is basically those, so I have a couple that are more, um, a little bit more detailed. They have a little bit of a rope detail to them. I have a bigger one and a smaller one so they can fit on my thumb, for example, and then my pinky finger. Then I have a very simple band ring that is just, has a tiny little bit of detail to it. It's slightly angular um, and it's quite a large size so it fits on um, my bigger fingers, which is nice. And then I also have a sort of hammered ring, um, which is slightly smaller and can fit on like the ring finger. One of my absolute favorite rings is um, this ring that was made out of recycled silver. It's just a simple band uh, that has very subtle texture to it and then it has a small silver star attached to it. It is ever so slightly too big for me so I do wear it on my pointer finger. So simple and just reminds me of the stars and the galaxies and it's just a beautiful piece to stack with the other more simple rings. Then lastly is the most recent addition to my collection. It's this set of four stacking rings. This is by um, a company called Ara the Altar. I will link everything down below if I can still find them online and I'll be linking the shops as well. Um, and this is by Ara the Altar who um, makes her jewellery out of recycled silver and she upcycles them into these beautiful new pieces and this is the set, um, moon phase set. But there are four rings and they denote each uh, quarter of the moon. They each are slightly different with slightly different notches in them, one has more, one has slightly less and then less and then there's one just plain silver smooth ring. They're beautiful as a stacking set, just one on top of the other like that to make it look more chunky or sometimes I wear them separate as well um, on different fingers um, and stacked with different rings to wear just one at a time and they're just just a staple piece um, especially if you're like me and you like very simple minimalistic jewelry um, that works well together and mix and matches I'm just absolutely obsessed with these rings and I've been wearing them every single day especially as I know they come from a locally sourced recycled eco-friendly um, and individual seller who is doing her bit to contribute to a more circular economy so it's straight to my heart when I wear them. I feel good about myself, I feel good um, about supporting um, a woman who is doing good in the world and they're beautiful. Next I have this little baggie which is where I keep my earrings. Um, I am not a huge earring wearer. Um, I do have a few piercings on my ears. I've got my lobes, my second lobes and then I have um, my cartilage piercing up here. Um, I've never actually taken this piercing out um, I had a little stud for a while, but basically I've always just had this hoop, and then I keep my hoops in this ear as well. Um, and so all the earrings I have in here are hoops of different sizes. <laughs> so I just have um, a pair of small hoops that are like the ones I have in currently, um, that I put in my first lobe. Then I have slightly bigger ones. And then I have these even bigger ones, which I've been wearing recently, which is why I don't have my small ones in. In fact, I think I might just put them in now. So this is what I've been wearing most days. Um, and then otherwise I just have these two um, sets of hoops. Then lastly I have this baggie which is where I keep my necklaces. Um, actually I have this necklace which I've not taken off since I bought it a few months ago. The symbol is the third eye chakra and it's this little golden 
delicate piece on this golden chain. Again, I got it in gold because I wanted to um, bring in a little bit more gold to offset the silver um, in my collection. Um, I just adore it. I haven't taken it off. Um, I don't think that I will. It just feels like a piece of me now. Then I have this amber necklace um, that my mum actually got for me. It sits about here when it's done up. And um, this has um, a lot of beneficial properties to it. I think a lot of people buy them for their children because um, uh, when they're teething they can gnaw on it and it actually heals and takes away the pain. And um, a lot of people who are going through the menopause again say that it helps with a lot of the symptoms there as well. Um, and I've read so many things about it and I can't even remember but I know it has a lot of healing properties. It helps with pain and I get a lot of um, pain and tension on my shoulders and my neck around here. Um, and so I wanted one to kind of just ease the pain as well as looking so beautiful. I just love the color of amber and it, because it's a natural substance it's got loads of little interesting bits inside as well and it reminds me of Jurassic Park when they find the mosquito and they make dinosaurs out of it and I love looking into each piece and seeing what I can find inside because every piece is unique and individual. Then I have this necklace which I'm sure a lot of you will recognize. I've always had a lot of um, lovely comments on my videos whenever I've uh, worn it in a video in the past and it is this quartz crystal necklace. It's on this silver chain that is adjustable so I can wear it at any length which is lovely um, which is great for stacking with other necklaces as well. So if I was going to wear it today with this necklace I could have it either above or below. And again, quartz crystal is um, very grounding and healing and clarifying as well, so it's great for meditation and for clearing the mind. Then I have this necklace that actually my partner made for me, so it has a lot of sentimental value, and it is a shell that he found near where he grew up on the beach, and then he made this um, rope from something, like an old tote bag or something, it's a bit of cloth that he's made this rope from, and. Um, I can wear the shell around my neck, but usually I also wear it um, tied around three times on my wrist as a bracelet, which is great that it's the perfect length to do that with as well. Then lastly, I just have these two bracelets. Um, this one is Picture Jasper, and I just love the earthy tones. It makes me think of the planets because of all the markings on it, um, and I just love the, the autumnal kind of earthy feel to it. And then I have this bracelet that I've had again since I can remember since I was a very, very young child. I don't even remember who gave this to me or where I was, um, but I've had it ever since I can remember. And it is um, amethyst mainly, which is the purple. I've just had it since forever. So again, all my pieces of jewelry, just the ones I keep, the ones I love, the ones I cherish, just feel like they're a part of me and I don't want to get rid of them. If something doesn't click right with me, then I'll get rid of it or I'll pass it on. Um, but the pieces that I've kept, the pieces that I love, the pieces that I hold dear are the ones that feel like they've just become part of my skin almost. Um, and so a lot of the time I won't even be able to tell you how I've justified kept it, keeping it or um, why I love it so much. It just feels, it just feels right. Um, and that's, that's how I decide which pieces of jewellery I love and want to keep and want to purchase in the first place um, because it just feels right. I kind of go with my intuition, my gut instinct on it and um, that's why I have just the pieces that I love and I love wearing every single day and make me feel great. So thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. Um, I did promise you a giveaway and that is to do with this watch from Jord. This watch was kindly gifted to me by the company. Um, this is not sponsored, but they did offer me a giveaway to you guys, which of course I said yes, because I'm utterly in love with my watch. Um, I love it so much and I would love for one of you guys to win one as well. And so the giveaway runs until this weekend. So you have, I think, three days to enter the giveaway. So it's very short, but you get to win $180 worth um, of credit to use on their site so you can use you can use that to go towards whichever watch you like. They have so many watches for men and women um, and you can choose which one you like. So all you have to do to enter is comment below on this video what's your favorite time of day. Um, give me a follow on Instagram, which I'll link below and also follow the link that I leave below to um, go and enter your details to enter the giveaway. 
So thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one with this continued series and I've also got loads more zero waste and minimalism and recipe vegan videos coming your way. So until next time, bye.